need to know what is in your heart. Apart from, you know, you coming or going to church, you need to know what is inside your heart. Because it is not the church that can save you. No. We are here, including myself, not to register our presence, but to acknowledge the presence of God. And you can only do that if your heart is clear or pure. This is not something that you can, you know, imitate. There are certain things that you can imitate, but when it comes to your personal relationship with Jesus, we deal with our heart. Let's go to verse 4. The one who has clean hands and pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by force, by force God, they will receive blessings from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Six, such is the generation of those who seek Him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. The one who has clean hands. Don't forget that your hands and your heart, they always work together. What you desire inside your heart, the reaction will be your hand now. The one who has clean hands and pure heart, who does not trust in an idol, Idol could be some anything that you trust or the thing that you love so much. It doesn't mean that if the Bible says that you, you, you cannot trust in an idol, then you are thinking about a statue or no. The thing that you love, where that is an idol because it becomes your God. Clean hands and a pure heart who does not trust an idol or swear by a false god maybe you don't know what i'm talking about being a child of god we are always conscious of what we are doing we are always conscious of what we are saying every believer every child of god we are conscious of what we are saying or what you are thinking about because we are under the influence of the Holy Spirit. There is no need for you to say, no, I didn't know that what I was saying is... No. Every child of God is conscious. Because as long as you are not conscious, then you are contaminating your heart. With a clean hands and a pure heart, know for sure that you are attracting the presence of your father in heaven living here on earth personally i have come to see that life without jesus is not life because life is like an egg you know egg if you carry you know a tray of eggs and then you fall on top of the eggs what are you going to carry is it eggs that is life that is what Life without Jesus, this is what I've come to discover. Whether young or old, life without Jesus is not life. It is something that you cannot rely on. Because you don't know what is next. You don't know what tomorrow will bring to your life. You need to live with that clear conscience. The life that you are living today must support your tomorrow. The hour that you are enjoying now must support the next hour. How? By making sure that your hands are clean and your heart is pure. There's nothing to worry or to fear. People of God, 
Anyone who is under the influence of the Holy Spirit, I'm not talking about members of the church or religious people. I'm talking about children of God who are going to church because of salvation. Those who are going to church because of salvation, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to the members, no. Members, they always, you know, want to be treated like princes and queens or kings. Amen. Hallelujah. They will receive, this is verse 5, blessings from the Lord and the vindication from God their Savior. Our defender is God Almighty. If you accuse me wrongly, there is no need for me to prove to anyone that, no, if that person accused me wrong, my defender is the one who is going to prove you wrong. Because my heart is pure. My hands are clean. It is, you know, a disturbing, you know, things nowadays. Where Christians have been now, sometimes if you sit down and you look at the way Christians have been portrayed, you feel, but you cannot control it. You can only manage your own life. Because the purpose of, you know, Christianity or going to church is salvation. If I lead you to Christ and you are moving with Christ, then you went, I mean, you go somewhere from there, you met the Lord, you are living this world. And I mean, or maybe, uh, you know, Ichibokoloi, uh, Chakuria. Ichibokoloi is salvation. It can only eat what? The flesh. Your life is in heaven. Without seeing your body, your life is where? In, I'm just giving you this example. I'm not saying you are going to die like that. No. Please and please, let your heart be pure. Even your thinking will be pure. What we carry with our hands, no one knows. It is only your heart and your hands. Whether we have killed or not, only your heart and your hands. Amen. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. He is the only living God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and what? Jacob. Let me take you to uh, the same book, 27 verse 8. Twenty-seven. Where, are, where? Are you? Oh, sorry, sorry. Verse eight. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me, or do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. I'm just adding, it's more like spicing up. A place of worship is not a war like this one. A place of worship is your heart. Because it can, it can only be in the presence of God where you can say, I command you, live now. If it is not in the presence of God, people can pray and pray on top of their voices, nothing that you see. So a place of worship is your heart. You start with your heart first before you enter a hole like this one. Because here no one knows who are you, who I am. All of us here, we, you know, we appeared to be children of God. But our heart... It's where everything lies. 
your hands and your heart must be what? Pure. And when you enter in a world like this one, what you are declaring is from the heart. It's just a confirmation that this is what is in me. This is what I'm calling. Be sure of the next hour. Of the next what? Hour. That my life, my heart is what? Is pure. If you are not sure, then you don't know where you are and you don't know what you are doing. You don't know where you are and you don't know what you are doing. Anything can disturb you and bring you down. Mufile mwa ishiba uwika shimuikele. Ushenga chakati na alefu mapano pachalu elelo. Where am I going to be? That is the question. Are you going to be with Jesus? If the answer is no, you are not sure of the life that you are living. Your heart is always busy condemning you, reminding you bad things. You are just managing your outside. Inside you are dying. Your hands are contaminated. Be sure of the life that you are living. This is an eye opener. See what is happening in the world. Rumors all over, disaster all over. You can't see that something is on the way coming. If you see here, or oh, people are dying, that something thousand died. Ah. Ichalolo chafika pakolasi. So let your heart be what. Mm. I, I, I wanted to bring you know the message I was sharing with you the other Sunday about it. there's no competition in destiny but uh, I, I'm sure by the grace of God I'll come back with that message because that message is a blessing to all of us thank you